Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will take a look at what template literal is and how it works. So template literal allow you to work with strings easily. And it is something once you know, you're going to be using it pretty much all the time. So let me show you how this works. So what we're going to do is create a variable called name. And then I'll just give it some value. Let's say Luffy. And I'll also do age equals let's say 23. Now, typically, if you want to print something out where you want to print out the name and age here, this is how you would do it, right? You do my name is and then you can, for example, do comma and then pass in the name and then do another comma. And then you add in, let's say, and I am. And then you would press comma and then you do age, right? So and obviously you can have to add in another one and say years old. So this is pretty much how you would do it, right? If I run this, it says, okay, my name is Luffy and I am 23 years old. Now, if you know this is, I mean, we can do it this way or we can do it through plus either way, like it's the same thing. So, but this is pretty clunky, right? Like we are doing adding commas too many times and then we have to remember sometimes, oh, if I have to add in a space there or do this. So this doesn't look that clean. So what template literal lets you do is, actually make it look much cleaner so let's see how that works we're gonna do console.log now the key thing here is to use template literal you have to use a backtick so if you notice here and i'm gonna zoom in so we are using this something called backtick and you can find this below the escape key so it's going to be same for mac and windows and that escape key lets you use that oh the backticks lets you use template string so i'm gonna reduce the screen size over here again okay so Let's see how we can use this and I'm going to fix this. All right. So we're going to be using same thing. We're going to say my name is now instead of doing name directly, just the way we were doing it or using comma, we will use dollar sign and then I'm going to use the curly brackets. And then in that I'm going to pass in my variable. So this is how you can create the variable. You pass in dollar sign. Uh, well, sorry, you're not creating the variable. You're using the variable. So you use dollar sign and then you use this curly brackets. Now this won't work with the regular strings. This will only work with template string. And then I can do space and do basically my text. I am then again for age. I'm going to do this and just do years old. So if you notice now, like instead of doing comma, this, this and that, I can actually take advantage of just doing uh, template strings and then pass in my variable. So we know specifically, okay, these are variable. And if I run this, there you go. This is exact same thing. My name is Luffy and I'm 23 years old. So this is how you can take advantage of template string. Now there's many things you can do with template string. For example, you can do multi-line also with template string. So I can do console.log and then here I can say, let's say multi-line text. Now if I print this, it will actually show up as a multi-line text. So this is another advantage. If you ever want to use multi-line text, this is a good way to use it. Now template string also takes an expression. So to give example, I can do console.log. I can say, let's say four plus five is, and then I can pass in my expression here. I can just do four plus five. So this will take it as a JavaScript um, like code and it will actually convert it into nine. So there you go, four plus five is nine. Most likely you can also like do something like Example, I can do if the name is Luffy, then you do print this, or if the name is not Luffy, you do something else. We can do that also with template strings. I can do, um, for example, if name triple equals, if it's Luffy, then what I want to do is just say, um, I mean, in this scenario, we can say um, it is, for example, I mean, I know it's a stupid example, but we can. If it's not, it says no, uh, or no, it is not. And if I run this, there you go, it says it is. So we did the full expression over here. We said, hey, if the name is Luffy, then print out it is. If it's not, then print out it is not. And obviously, if I change this to not something else, it will say, nope, it is not. So there you go. This is how you can use template string. It's pretty straightforward. But like I said, once you know how this works, you will st stop using this regular strings over here and kind of start replacing it with template string all over the place. All right. So that's it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one.